Hello, Internetians. My name is Josh, aka Ultra Player, and I'm bringing you guys a showdown live in the OU tier. My hair is messed up. Alright, bringing you a showdown live in the OU tier. This is going to be my first showdown live that I have ever done, so really hoping it goes well. Let's do it. Now, the team I am using is a team I built a while ago. It's uh, one of the best teams I've had. It's the first team that got me ever into the 1500s of OU. Let's go over it. We have Victini, Choice Banded. It, this is just a massive stall breaker. Very few switch ins. What does switch into it? Doesn't really like Keldeo. Uh, I went with Choice Scarf because the team was kind of slow at the end. It originally was uh, Subcall Mind to help deal with like the likes of Mega Sableye and stuff. Um, Icy Wind for the Lottie Twins and Celebi and such. Then I have a defensive Mega Scizor. This lets me handle stuff like Gengar and switch into the likes of uh, Weavile, which I already have a switch in. Um, this also gives me a Defogger, because Victini and Rocks, yeah, they don't like each other too much. Um, then I have a Celebi, which is very helpful for stuff like Keldeo, Rotom Wash, uh, the, 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 the Special Defense actually lets me also take on Lotties. I can't take an HP Fire into a Draco, but I can take any other combination of moves. I can take two Side Shocks, I can take two Dracos, I can take a Draco into an HP Fire. U-Turn for Momentum. This is a very Volt Turn heavy team. Recover, Heal Bell, standard Celebi stuff. Then we have a Tank Jump, the uh, Talon Flame check, Bisharp check, Breloom check. Not a Breloom check. Breloom check. Get the Brocks, Hazards, or um, phases stuff, etc. And we have a Weavile. Very good at like, being cleaner, very good at just being fast and offensive and fit well on the team. Right, let's get into it. Um, typically, recent, or recently I've been playing a lot of offense, so it's going to be kind of weird to go back to this uh, balanced kind of looking team. Kind of looking, it is balanced. It's perfectly balanced. Why is there no one on the ladder? There we go. So we're facing off against One Punch Pete. Uh, and this man has a Zoroark team, which is actually really interesting. Um, who's he gonna lead off with? He actually doesn't really like Keldeo too much, so I kind of want to lead off with Keldeo and just fire off a Hydro Pump, but I think he might re lead off with that Rotom Wash. Yeah, I'm going to lead off with um, Keldeo here. It matches up pretty well against his team. Where are we on the ladder? Rank. Whoa, lots of stuff. Uh, where's the 1482? I mean, it could be better. Uh, why am I 1482? It probably could just decay and stuff. Um, I don't plan on sticking to OU, by the way. I do play OU a lot, but I also plan on bringing you UIs and you are you. I, as you can see, I play across multiple tiers. This man is taking forever. Um, I might do videos on suspect tests, but I've never actually qualified for one. I've gotten close. Like you, you, I got to 2351, and you, and you, I'm on like 2000. I will consider bringing lives to those tiers, but I'm not too entirely sure. This man is taking forever. Okay. Ah, finally, this man makes a move after 200 years. Um, I don't think this guy, I, I don't think I want to stay in here. I mean, I could just fire off a, um, do I want to stay in here? Let's see here. I think I'm going to go back to my, uh, Scizor. This one could be the Zoroark, which he does switch out into the Kieran Black, which is fantastic for us. Okay, so we're just going to make it evolve and go for the U-turn. 
he is not staying in here. Even if he has HP fire, he can't take a bullet punch. Uh, expecting the Lando to come out, which just will give me a free switch into my um, either Kelly or Revile, depending on the damage. Man, why am I facing the slowest player ever? This man takes forever. One punch Pete. One one inch Pete. There we go. He got out to the Rotom Wash, which is good. And that looks uh, offensive. Actually. I can just go into my Celebi here. Little onion berry. He has leftovers. It looks like a lot of damage, but. I think he's going to harden the Scizor. I really hope he's not one of the ones that just straight up Volt Switch. A lot of people do that. I don't know why people think Rotom Wash is the best one in the game. People stay in on Latios with their Rotom Wash because they want to die to Draco. Speaking of which, this man is kind of weak to, um, well, I mean, I guess he has a Scizor and a Zorark to handle Lottie's. This man really does not like Victini. So once Victini comes in, he actually goes into Cure in Black. And we are going to U-turn out of there. And these typically don't run. They typically don't run Timid. They usually run, like, Mild. And even if it is, I think I can take a Life Orb with Victini. A Life Orb, uh, Earth Power with Victini. What do I want to do here? I think I'm just going to go out to Victini and fire off a V-Create. Nothing on his team really wants to take this V-Create. And we know this is actually the Curum. Because it's not a... Uh, it didn't lead to Illusion. U-Turn wasn't super effective. And the U-Turn did 14 instead of 2,000. Um, yeah, I think I can just fire off a V-Create here. Nothing on his team really wants to take it. Except for possibly the Landorus. He just stays in... Yeah, he just drops. Alright. So that's one big threat out of the way, which is great. Now I think he is going to go out into the Landorus. That's his probably his best play. Uh, that Landorus is actually defensive, looking at his team, because he has no other rocker. Let me, uh, boom. Yeah, you need a knot. He does go into the Landorus, which is fine. I can just go out to guard time and get my rocks up. As he put his, puts his own rocks up. So we know this is the lander. Um, that Zorok is scary, man. You can do so much work to my team. Although Keldeo is pretty safe switching. Uh, he's going to go out into the Gengar. Hmm. Is this the Gengar or is this actually the Zorok? What do I need this for? I kind of need this for Scizor, but I have ways to handle Scizor. I have ways to handle a defensive Landorus. I think I can just stay in here and Dragon Tail and Scout. See what this is. That's what I'm going to do. He actually goes for Substitute. So he is um, a sub hex variant. So Gengar is at 82. Gengar is damage, that's the important part. I am going to just keep staying in here. I don't have a reason to switch out. I have ways to handle Scizor and. Uh, Landorus in the forms of um, my own Scizor and a Caldeo. So I'm just going to keep clicking. He actually clicks Disable. So now I have to rely on Stone Edge. Sub Disable Gengar. Hmm. Come to think of it, his team is looking very black white. Because <laughs> that's a black white set, I'm pretty sure. Stone Edge is going to connect. I don't see why he doesn't just fire off a move. Let me keep firing on Stone Edge. He actually goes into Landorus. Yeah, I could not let that thing stay behind Stone And we missed Stone Edge, but that's okay. Um, what can you do here? 
I want to get rid of these rocks so Vakini can come in and get a kill. Especially since that thing is uh, not life, that Gengar is not life orb. And it's uh, probably Willow Wisp Hex. I don't know why he didn't go with me. Um. He has Willow as Hex, and Victini handles it very well. Can get a kill every time it comes in. Uh, it's weakened, by the way. It is at like 60%. I have to remember that. If I see Z uh, Gengar come in at full, it's going to be the Zoroark. I think I'm going to Scizor here. See if I can get rid of these rocks. He actually EQs, which is fine. Um, I'd like to defog. But I also want to roost. I want to defog. Because if he switches out, no. no I have to roost. Oh, he U turns. Fuck. Um. He goes out into the Rotom Wash. And this is leftover, so we we know this is the Rotom Wash. Um Do I want to speed this? I don't. I can get a slow U-turn off. I expect him to burn me. Which would suck, actually. The safe play is going to Celebi, but I'm afraid he's going to Volt Switch and then get Switch Initiative into the Zoroark or something. I don't think he Hydros here, which kind of makes me want to go into Victini and fire off a Banded V Create. I think Banded V Create does kill Rotom at this range. We can get to Victini. We're gonna make it, we have to be aggressive here. Damn it! Ah, oh, why did he Hydro? I'm just going to fire off a U-turn. Man, I really thought he was going to Wisp or Volt Switch there. Which sucks. Um, now he is definitely in range of B-Create. And I can go out to Salaby here and fire off another U-turn. This thing is uh, almost in range of uh, Weavile's knockoff too, which is good. Because he's running out of Weavile counters. Well, not running out. He has two. And he actually lets me um, weaken it, so that's good. And he goes for pain. Okay. Just to kill that thing. And he's going to hard land out here right now. Or Will O Wisp. I'm going to go to Celebi. This match is taking forever. He does Will-O-Wisp. I still have to U-turn out because of Scizor. Well, do I? No, I'm going to Giga Drain. As he stays in, back in range of um, knockoff. So he can't switch into Weavile now. Now his Weavile switch in is his Scizor. Too bad this is my heat team where I have H or uh, natural gift for my Weepa, or he'd be dead. This could be the Zoroark. This could also be a Scizor. Either way, I go into Keldeo, and he's actually banded pursuit. No, that's not banded. That can't be. I'm not max defense. But what I do know is we better get a kill. Fire off this Hydro Pump. He goes down to Landorus. Okay. So, rocks are not coming back on my side of the field. And, nope. Sorry. I'm scarfed. So, Town goes his Gengar too. And we are looking like we are going to win this battle. Rodan comes in. I can just sack my Celebi here. Actually, paint splits. <laughs> Gives me health. Does anybody else just see him just do that? This man just gave me health. I can recover here. We are at 15 minutes for this. <laughs> the showdown live, and we are only on the first battle. This man does not know how to make moves fast. Uh, now I expect him to go out into... Why is he not Mega Scizor? He goes, 
hard to work. I don't expect this thing to have pursuit, so I can just go straight into Keldeo. As he swords dances. Um, I do outspeed you, and even if you are a sucker punch, I live it. He's sash. Oh. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Because I still have uh, Weavile's Ice Shard in the back. So he's going to go for Sucker Punch. That's not even going to kill me. And now I'm going to go to Zoroark. Go down to Scizor. Go into Garchomp. And he just forfeits. Great. So that's our first win for the Showdown Live. Alright, let's get another. And we are facing... Oh, God. We are facing Vadar. Um, I don't know if that is in the avatar. And he has a very interesting looking team. Um, poor Gun Teeth's problem. I'm gonna have to knock that thing off. He doesn't have, um, look at his Victini switch ins for a second. Ah, uh, is this your Victini counter? Goodbye. Is that your Victini counter? Unless he's max speed, I still outspeed it, and uh, that goes for gun team. So this match is moving along a lot faster. R two P two, I like that name. Um, that mini champ is going to be a big threat. He does go into the Dragonite. Am I afraid of this thing? I don't think I am. I have bullet punch to break it. I have uh, a Weavile, and I have a guard jump right now. He just go for Dragon Dance, and I'm just gonna go for Dragon Tail. Boy. He goes for Dragon Claw, and it does not kill me. And there it goes. Yeah, he's down really weak. And out comes the Mew. Is that my rock here? I think I can. Well, my, he, I'm staring down his Defogger, so pro probably not. I'm gonna go to Scizor here. See if I can U turn. Oh, he will was. That's fine. I can still U turn out. And now we get another kill. He's probably going to set Dragonite, honestly. As he does. This is a lot better of a match. Okay, he goes out into the Medicham. Uh, I'm going to go out into Garchomp. As he does not choose the Ice Punch right away, which is fantastic. Um, I do think he's a Bullet Punch on this kind of set. He could be. I think no matter what, he high jump kicks here. There's no way to. There's no reason to risk Ice Punch and me get a free switch into Keldeo. I'm gonna go for my rocks. Just right, he does go for Ice Punch. I don't agree with that play, but you know. I don't think I kill him with Secret Sword here, so I do think I have to go for the Scald. He should save this thing. Because it just, yeah, it deals with a lot of my team. I go for Scald. Do nothing to this Mew. He's probably going to Wisp here. I can go out to Scizor again. And... Just Roost. I'm going to U-turn. He's Rocky Helmet. I'm going to Victini. As he said, it was Stealth Max. And guess what's about to happen again? Victini better get his third kill of the match. <laughs> God, bye. Yep, bye. Great. Goes out into this thing once again. And... I think I just hard into Caldia. Uh, I can just go to Celebi here, actually. No reason to play stupid. Does he kill me with Ice Punch? I'm gonna calc this. Um.
Medi Chim. Oh, you all attacker. Um, if he's adamant, which he is, he does kill me. So I'm gonna go out into Keldeo. And he's just gonna for or he left. Alright, great. He came back. Shit. <laughs> Alright, Keldeo. Does Keldeo kill this thing with Secret Sword yet? No, it does not. Good lord. I can just go for Scald though. He does go right out into his Clefable, which takes that rather well. Although I don't like dam getting dam taking damage, I am going to go straight into Victini. The worst he can do is Thunder Wave me. Um, great thing about Victini is it just handles so many threats. It takes off it can switch into Clefable without Thunder Wave. It can switch into Scissors without knockoff. And even even if it can't switch into Scizor, if something dies, it can get a clean switch into it can cleanly come in on Scizor and just kill it because the worst thing it can do, even a plus six bullet punch does not kill it, which is phenomenal. Why? Ah Victini again. All the kills. So he's gonna stack off his um Ferrothorn here. As he goes out into this. I think I just stack scissor here. Let's see if he has bullet punch. On this type of team, I don't think he would. He goes down to Clefable, which is... Okay. So he's actually unaware. I can actually go into um, Celebi here. He's calm mind. Go for the he heal bell. And just fire, start firing off Giga Drains. Now I go on to Victini. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my kill. Victini is putting in all the work. This is why I don't understand why Victini is BL. Because it is just so good. And even with this speed drop, I am going to outspeed it. Victini got all six kills. Ah, GG. Good lord. Vitini literally got every kill in that match. How long are we at? 23 minutes? Alright, let's get another one. And. So we are facing um, flip side. This team looks familiar. Isn't this? Um, oh, sorry for that. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Pokey Aim's team. The one he just used in his last live. It's Life Orb Nita King with Ice Beam Flamethrower. Um, 28, 20 Spadef, Rotom Wash. Mixed Defense is Mega Scizor with Pursuit. Choice Scarf Lander Asterion. Life Orb Latios with Calm Mind. And Power Herb Heat Heatran. Alright, so that's great. Uh, his Stealth Rocker is Heatran. 
then he doesn't have too many switch-ins to the Keldeo. So I'm going to leave off with Keldeo. As he leads Na Nidoking. God, he equals Nidoking. Um, really don't expect him to stay in here. I know he is Life Orb. I expect him to go Latios here. So I'm just going to Icy Wind. And we are going to do uh, exactly zero damage. As I don't see him Draco Ring. I see him Roosting or Calm Minding. Maybe Side Shock. I can go out to Scizor here, actually. It, it's very safe. He doesn't have HP Fire. And I can fire off a U turn. He's not rough, uh, Rocky Helmet Lando, as I said. Uh, I love when I know someone's team. He Dracos. And great. Ah, Keldy about to run through his team. Pokey. Alright, so. I want to make sure he does not get off anything. I'm going to go out to you. Which he has no switch ins to. And as far off as Scald, either Sax is Latios. <laughs> so now he knows I know his whole team. <laughs> because this is, this is literally Poking Games team. Like. Same one he just used. Uh, he does go into the Rotom Wash. Come on, get the punk, get the punk, get the punk, get the punk. Yes! Alright, so that's good. That uh, attributes to, or helps towards the Weavile Sweep. I can just go ahead to Celebi here. As he Hydro Pumps. And is he going to Volt Switch? He could. I'm going to go ahead for U-Turn, though. Because if he goes hard Scizor, then that's really bad. Because his scissor carries roof three attacks with no investment. He does volt switch. So I'm gonna go straight into Garchomp. And I can get him my rocks. Wait, is he defog on Scissor? He's not. He doesn't have a defogger. Rocks go up and they stay. That's what kills Latios. He chooses to stay in and hydro pump, weakening one of his two Weavile checks. He is not a check because I do have the low kick and he is offensive. I don't want him switching out. He's actually going to blow wisp, whatever. Um, ah, take this damage. I also want to weaken Scizor a little bit. Once I weaken Scizor, literally I can just start spamming moves with uh, Weavile. As he goes down to Latios and sacks it, that's a good play. Now I don't have to worry about that thing. I do have Speed Needle King too, which is good. Actually, he's getting closer and closer to being, um... I want damage on Scizor, but what's my switch in? It's nothing. I'm gonna say any Q and hope he chokes, he, which he doesn't. And... <sighs> Honestly, Keldeo just gets a kill now. This team is really Keldeo weak. Do I have to Hydro Pump? No, I can just Scald, actually. Because Scizor is not a really good switch in. Brodom's going to die to two. To one, actually, because of Burn. Yeah, to one. Beat without Burn. Good lord. Um, And now he has to go Scizor here. Therian does not take a scald. His only play is Scizor. It's the only mod that can really handle me, even then. He 
He goes to Lando, which is great because I can just fire off his call. Because I'm also scarfed. Ah, Keldeo puts in the work. I like this guy. Flip side. Flip side getting bodied. He goes at the heat ran, and I know this is power. And I know. See, I can take this. Heat ran offensive. He does. He can. I don't want to lose this, though. Because, again, I just come in quick scald later. I'm going to go to Victini. And click U turn. In case he didn't already know. Now I can go out to Caldeo again. And get another kill. I guess he didn't realize that originally that I knew. Uh, I knew this was Poke Game Team. Uh, that crit might have mattered. It's a roll. It, the roll was like 77 to 91. I can just start scalding. Keep, I can just keep clicking scald forever. The crit. That crit sucks. But again, if he since he U-turned, I just can I just keep clicking scalding. Me, GG. Weavile, Weavile has not done a thing. He actually goes for bullet punch hoping to kill me, but he doesn't. And that is GG. Um, how much are we up to? We're up to 32 minutes. Um, I'm going to go for one more. I think that's going to be it for now. So, I hope you all enjoy. Feel free to like and subscribe if you want more. I do have a series starting tomorrow. If you watched my intro video, you might know what that is. Anyway, I'll see you later. Y'all have a great day.